Welcome to Risk Forever channel guys. To the channel which shares the most relevant tips and tricks on how to win at risk, and improve your gameplay in no time. Subscribe to the channel and you won't even see how fast you will become so much better at risk. Push that notification bell to see new videos first. This is your host champion ever. And today we are playing 4 player fixed cards game on classic risk map. With alliances on. Balance Blitz dice rolls in 60 seconds per turn. This time I'm playing against one beginner ranked player who is blue, one intermediate ranked player who is orange, and even one expert ranked player who is yellow. I'm wondering how the game is going to go this time. As always, wish me best of luck guys. I will definitely need it. All what you need to do, is to root for the red player. Or actually make a prediction on who is going to win. You can pause the video and write it down in comments section. Don't cheat. Some of you have asked to upload some of losses as well, not only wins. But to keep you intrigued, I won't say whether I will lose in this episode, or one of the upcoming ones. And OMG guys. I cannot believe that the blue player is going to fight the yellow player for Australia. Not the smartest move ever I would say. But remember guys, no Australia, no win. Most of low rank players go by that logic. They don't understand that while they're fighting for Australia, one of other players can capture another continent and expand very easily, capturing more and more stuff, drastically increasing his advantage. It's good if the fourth player gets a continent as well. But if he doesn't, then the player who got a continent can win quite fast and easily. Leaving the type of situation game in a video card above feel free to check it out. In this game I would be the player who gets another continent and can expand even more, as you can see I captured South America and planning to capture Africa as soon as I can. But the problem is that it seems the orange player will capture Europe quite soon, so he will be balancing me. And that is not so good. I need to plan that I'm going to do next after I capture Africa. Well, but for now I made an alliance with the orange player and I hope he will be a good ally. It would be amazing if he would be as good ally as the one I had in the last game if you remember guys. The last game was very fun. Well, for me obviously, not for my opponents who got totally crushed by my ally, lalalo. In case you haven't seen it yet. I'm leaving a link in the top right corner. Also players who fight for Australia don't even realize that they can simply clear out the continent for another player, and in that case they will both end up screwed up. Over Australia potentially can take the player who has a bigger army of troops somewhere near, like in Asia or Europe. That player could be me, as you can see I have 8 troops in Siberia territory and I'm very tempted to take Australia from these players as soon as I will get a set. They don't even imagine what is going to happen for them, lalalo. Well, apparently the yellow player has just turned in a set, so no Australia for me it seems. Well, at least I will capture Africa in the next turn. Also look what a sneaky yellow's plan is. She captured all of Blue's territories outside Australia and totally blocked him, lalalo. The blue player only has 3 cards so it's unlikely that he will have a set. The yellow player will get very lucky by not only getting Australia but by getting 3 extra cards as well. A very smart plan I must admit. I conquered Africa and also captured some extra territories to increase the troop bonus I get. I left no troops to guard Africa against the orange player because I want to show that I trust him and we just made alliance anyways, so I doubt he will attack me. Oh my goodness guys, I cannot believe that. What a freaking scumbag. I trusted him. Makes alliance and breaks it after turn or two. I let him to hold Europe, so why I cannot hold South America plus Africa and get 5 troops per turn as well. Well, you guys know that you should never take alliances too seriously and be prepared for anything. I probably shouldn't have expanded so drastically fast. Well, maybe the orange player has just made the best decision by breaking his alliance with me and going to win quite easily. We will see about that. But you know orange, what happens for those who messes with champion ever, you know? You just made the list. I'm freaking mad and I'm going to attack you. 
Boom! What a sweet, sweet revenge! Look guys, the orange player has screwed himself up, I will be able to hold at least South America, while he will definitely be struggling with Europe. It's very important to have alliance with all of the players if you want to hold Europe. The continent has even four borders so it's quite easy to invade it. You must have a very good relationship with your opponents in order to hold it, otherwise you can end up with no continent at all. Alright guys, it seems the orange player wants to end the conflict he started by not attacking into Africa. Should I be a good person and not attack him as well? Hmm. That is a very, very good question indeed. Guys, should I attack him, yes or no? I think I don't need his alliance anymore, he betrayed me once and he will betray me again. I'm not going to let that to happen. I will rather make alliance with the yellow player instead. I moved troops from North America and he accepted it. Diplomacy is another part of the game guys. I'm just thinking whether the yellow player will be a loyal person or a scumbag as well. OMG guys. What in the world was this blitz roll, how in the world he won a 4 vs 5 blitz roll without losing a single troop. I have no other words but magic. Like what in the world guys, what in the world guys? Must be a magic for real. Well, I'm happy that Orange didn't invade Africa as well, even though he easily could. That's pretty sweet of him. Also I really like the fact that the blue player blocked his army in Australia. He won't be able to take any of the players out in case he would get an opportunity to do so. And he won't be able to do any major attack in case he would need to do one. Alright guys, I won't be as nice to Orange as he is currently to me and attack him again. No mercy for Orange. But I really hope he doesn't have a set though. Let's see. It can go very wrong for me. Phew, it seems he doesn't have one. Sweet. And oh no guys, I'm not sure but I think we have another scumbag. I'm very suspicious about the yellow player. Yeah, sure, sure you want me to attack blue. I almost certainly sure. You want to say that you're definitely not planning to take South America from me by having these 11 troops next to my border. I would like to trust you but you see how the things are. Well, still my main priority is to get rid of Orange. I'm wondering if I could take him out right now. He is so weak and I must take the opportunity of getting rid of him, before he turns in a set next turn. So now or never. And look the yellow player doesn't go for South America as I expected, but captured North America instead. That's pretty nice. And she has even moved her troops from my border. That's super awesome. Finally I gained her trust. And let's say goodbye for Orange. I've got rid of my biggest enemy of this game. It couldn't be better. Yellow and Blue already don't really like each other too much. If you remember they were fighting for Australia in the beginning of the game. So I'm wondering if they still hate each other. Curious to see if they became enemies for the entire game. Let's see if Blue invades me. And he just did. I think the Blue doesn't really care about the Yellow player anymore doesn't have any anger on her anymore and his main goal is to help to sustain balance of the game for a little bit while turtling in australia but it seems the yellow player is still mad on the blue player for sure she still keeps sending attack requests to attack blue so i send one back and she captured multiple territories of blue i'm thinking maybe she want to get rid of the blue player for real maybe it's her main and only goal Let's see if she invades Europe. I just captured it in protecting it only from blue. Yellow could potentially invade all of my continents. Lol, that's what I call a strong alliance. I really like the fact that she continues taking territories of blue, leaving me alone while letting me to hold all of these continents. I think yellow doesn't want to win anymore but just to get a second place. And I will help her to achieve it. And by the way, for those who aren't familiar with my channel yet, my name is Champion Ever. 
and in this channel I'm sharing relevant risk global domination tips and tricks that will help you to increase your rank in no time. I upload my videos constantly, I try to make them short and informative but also entertaining at the same time. I'm currently Grandmaster and have over 1000 hours of experience which I want to share with you. Most people want to know how to win at risk. Are you one of them? If so, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe and start grinding those rank points right now. Drastically improve your gameplay by simply watching risk videos. Alright guys, it is my time to shine. Showtime. The yellow player has just blocked her biggest army and the balance of the game is already broken whatsoever. I'm going to take both of them out easily. Taking the blue player out firstly just to show some appreciation for the yellow player of being a very good ally. She helped me a lot by letting me to hold all of these three continents. Another easy victory for me guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see even more episodes of Risk. Support my channel by doing it right now. Remember guys to practice and sharpen these skills. Small steps every day will lead you to your biggest goal one day. Also if you're new to the channel I highly recommend you to subscribe because I will be sharing even more amazing tips and tricks on how to win at risk. I will reveal some of very great strategies I have been using. Push that notification bell so you will see them first.